Hi, my name is uh, Matt Robertson and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about the new Shadow Plus rear derailleur from Shimano. Uh, we're excited about the Shadow Plus and the stabilizing technology that's available. So uh, it's got a little gold switch on it here. We call this a stabilizer switch. And when that is off, uh, you'll see the derailleur behaves just like your normal derailleur. Uh, we have an off mode, particularly so you can remove the wheel easily because your position behind the bike when you're changing the wheel is important. Uh, we also suggest you leave it off for the fine tuning involved with adjusting of the rear derailleur. Uh, once the wheel is in, the derailleur is adjusted, go ahead and turn this thing on and you'll find yourself leaving it on the entire time that you ride because the stabilizer adds two key benefits uh, to the ride. One. Uh, by reducing the chain movement completely, you're able to uh, take 90% of the noise out of your bike ride, maybe 95 or 100%, really bringing a, 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 a new concept to the bike ride. You're out there, you're having a great time, you're on the trail, and the last thing you need is a bunch of noise uh, from your drivetrain distracting you. So that noise, that chain noise that's always been part of your mountain bike ride is almost completely eliminated. That's a great feature. The other part is uh, chain control and the idea of keeping your chain on the front chain wheel when you want it there. Uh, bikes today have maybe five or six inches of travel. You can ride those in very rough terrain. And what happens often is the drivetrain fails you, the chain drops off, drops from the chain ring to a smaller chain ring, possibly falls to the outside of the bike. Um, triples and doubles are both prone to uh, chain drop on five and six inch travel bikes. You have the Shadow Plus, you stabilize the chain, uh, you remove the chain drop, uh, you quiet down the bike, and uh, you're really gonna uh, like the experience you're gonna get on the new Shadow Plus. Here we have a bike equipped with the new uh, Shimano Dior XT, a complete new generation. We call this 780 series, so Shimano's M780. Uh, you'll be excited to know that XT is not only available in this black color option you see here, but a more traditional silver and black combination. You'll be equally excited to find out that there's a 2x10 system and a 3x10 system, so we're really bringing that rider tune concept from XTR down. Uh, we're gonna uh, ma mate that with, uh, here we have a trail pedal. Uh, you'll also know that there's a traditional SPD type pedal available. Uh, we're also going to introduce a couple of different levels of wheel, a trail wheel, a race wheel. Um, and one of the most exciting features is the new XT disc brake. The XTR disc brake has uh, been receiving rave reviews and people are excited about something that was just a little bit more affordable uh, that they could sell to a wider range of customers in their shop. So the new XT disc brake is going to give you uh, about the same power as the last servo wave disc brake. Uh, but great modulation, better system stiffness, and uh, the incredible heat control uh, from the ice technology, the ice rotors, and you can see the ice tech pads there. So the shifting system, obviously it's all 10 speed. Uh, we're able to add a few new features uh, to the 780 10 speed. So one is what we call multiple release. We had this on uh, XTR last year. So I can get two shifts, uh, and we call release shifts, which basically means into a faster gear in the back, into a taller gear. Uh, we have what we call vivid index shift so there's a little bit more tactile feedback so you're not only listening for the shift but you're feeling it through the lever so you know exactly what you're doing on the trail and of course the ice spec bracket allows you to choose either an individual clamp brand uh, which you don't see here or the integrated bracket where the shifter mounts directly onto the brake lever so uh, very clean mounting and of course with the new servo wave brake so now we've maintained the servo wave brake with XT, but we've added the, the modified pivot location, so it's a much more ergonomic stroke. Uh, it's a little bit shorter, so you're going to get a stiffer lever and a lighter weight total assembly. You're going to get um, all the ice technologies that uh, maintain the heat control of the system. So basically, the performance that the new XTR brakes are receiving rave reviews for, we're able to bring all that performance down to XT at a much more affordable price. So we're pretty excited about that. And then there's a few uh, small refinements in the rear derailleur. Uh, you might recognize that now there's an aluminum uh, link here. We call this the B-Link. Um, and our previous generation uh, Shadow XT derailleurs, we had a steel link. And the steel link was a little bit uh, more susceptible to bending. And it wasn't as stiff because the pivot wasn't as wide. And so now we've got increased stiffness. We've got better alignment. We've got sealed bearings, top and bottom. So it really brings the efficiency of the system up and uh, makes the derailleur shift better for a longer period of time. So we've got all the technology from XTR trickle down, affordable and uh, ready to go. It'd be in a shop near you soon.